Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to talk about how to set up your Lord skills. Now, I am Lord 120. Most of you folks watching this probably will not be Lord 120. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to show how it's a priority system on Lord skills. Not everybody's going to be maxed out. So, when doing these Lord skills, I am doing it based on having this research done right here. Hero Training 2. See that with the hero stat bonuses and everything on face off, and then you get a lot of stats for your actual troops on face off for winning or losing. So winning or losing a face off is a big deal. Because of that, I'm going to be taking hero stats. If you don't have that research done, don't worry about it. So first, we're going to go through defense, and what I'm setting up for is I'm setting up for a split defense. Now you're going to go with your base stats, you know, your base numbers all the way to the end when you're doing your defense. And this is going to be the priority, is going all the way through, all the way to the very end of it. And at that point, you're going to, you know, take those leverage debuffs. So that's what I'm doing right now, is I'm filling out this tree all the way to the very end. Uh, you see, I'm on this line right here, I'm going with enemy hero defense debuff and the, you know, the hero debuffs. Because as I said, I'm concerned with the hero skills. If you don't have that hero tree done, it's a lot less important. I would still take those on that part. But for the most part, if you don't have that hero tree done, you know, both of them, then you're not going to be winning many face-offs against attackers. I also go with archer stat debuffs whenever I am doing these skills. I'm not going to max them out and see how I've got infantry attack, and then I go take the infantry, or I'm sorry, the archer leverage debuff as well. That's because I have majority infantry troops. If you're fully split, doesn't matter which way you go on that. You're still just going to go all the way to the end, and you're going to do all of these basically at the base amount. As you can see, I'm taking the archer debuffs every single time because I have more infantry than I have other troops. If you're a perfect split, again, that doesn't matter. We're setting this up like you're a perfect split. A lot of people are running split defense now. So, that's all you're doing all the way through is just taking 5 or 10 or however many you need to get up through to the next one until you get to the very end of the tree, which is this. This is where the bread and butter is. See at the very far right, those uh, basic leverage attack decreases for all three types? I am going to go and I'm going to take all three of them. Most people, if you are not very high Lord level, are going to run out of points at some point in this process. That's okay. Pick the ones you want to hit you the least hard, and those are the ones you're going to go with. So I'm taking the leverage attack decrease all the way across the board for all of them. And so I'm going to do those debuffs, I'm sorry, the uh, prereqs all the way up to, and then I'm going to take all of those leverage attack decrease. And so see, even though I'm max Lord level, I've only got 66 points left over at this point. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to go and I'm going to take all these hero debuffs like I talked about so I can win face-offs. So there's an enemy hero debuff there. I, apparently I can't see while I'm recording this. But uh, there, got it. So go back, take the enemy H H HP debuff, the defense debuff, the attack debuff. And that's just because I'm trying to win my face-offs. Um, when you're defending... It's really, really hard to... I'm also going to take the Archer Leverage attack decrease because that's only 5 points, and that's a, a big amount of uh, decrease on leverage. So I'm going to take that as well. Go through, finish out my attack debuffs. And you see, after I... I'm sorry, my E-Hero debuffs. So you see, after I take these, now I've got 30 points left over. So you want to get the most bang for your buck out of these 30 points that you have left over. The most bang for your buck is going to come from finishing off skills that you had prereqs for. That's why I skipped over those other le leverages. I could have gone and I could have taken out another leverage. I'm going to go troop HP, scroll all the way to the end, and you see I could use all 30 of my points taking these attack debuffs right here and getting an additional 65 attack debuff for each type. But that would take all of my 30 remaining points. I'd only get 65 attack debuff for each type of troop. And if you do the math on it, that is a very, very small percentage of the total attack they're sending at you. So it's actually better to go back and take more leverage attack decrease if you can take it. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the uh, cavalry basic attack. Uh, so I'm going to do the prereq on the archer attack there, and then I'm going to 15 all the way up, take another 10% leverage. That only leaves me with 6. So I'm going to scroll over here to where I, it only takes 5 to cap off my troop HP increase right here for an additional what is that, 18 HP, and then I got one point, and you can just ditch wherever you want to. Basically, it's not going to be a, a make or break, obviously, so I'm just, boop, right there. A little bit extra for that. So, when you're doing your defense skills, that's basically what I like to do for split defense. If you're running Crimson Steel, Dark Lord, that kind of thing, split defense is I go and I take all of the leverage attack decrease that I can. The stats given by other parts of it are not so massive to make up for that leverage attack decrease, that leverage attack decrease is incredibly massive. 
So let's talk about attacking now. When you're attacking, first things first, if you are going to be setting a rally, you want to have a max rally Lord skill preset. What that is, and I use this for soloing as well sometimes, and the max rally preset, all this skill set is here for is to max out your deployment size and your rally attack troop size skills. That's all it's here for. So you're going to take all the prereqs on everything else, you're going to go all the way to this point right here in the tree, and you're going to max out that. After that, you can do whatever the hell you want to. If you're very high lord, uh, lord skill level, then you can use all those 250 points, and you can actually max out all the monster things too. So you can use that for both of them. You can make it your gathering preset, something like that. Uh, so that's what I do, and that's whenever I'm setting a rally, I switch to those skills, set the rally for the max thing, and then I set the rally. As soon as it's set, you have it set, you get those numbers. You can switch skills after that point. So that's why I have that preset there. So let's look at how I'm going to set up a solo cav attack preset. Solo cav attack. This is if you're sending only ponies, you're trying to kill archers. So what you're going to do is basically just like on defense, you're going to go through and you're going to do all of your prereqs all the way through this tree, all the way to the end. The, bet, the bread and butter is very, at the very end and those last points. You want to get that leverage attack debuff down, number one, and we'll show you that here in a second. I'm taking the hero debuffs again. And that's because when you're attacking, also, you're usually sending Radiant, some variant of Radiant, if you have it. So you can win a lot more face-offs. Radiant versus Steel in a heads-up will win a lot of the time. Here's where it starts to matter. I am taking Infantry Attack Debuff because this is for Cav. That's why I have a preset for each Cav, Infantry, and Archer. So I take Infantry Attack Debuff, and then I'm going to take the Infantry Leverage Attack Decrease because that's one that matters to me. Uh, continue doing the prereqs, everything else like that. Opening it up. Now, whenever you have an option to take a debuff, if it's uh, defense or HP, you're going to take archer defense uh, debuff because this is for cav. So this is the preset you're going to use to solo or even switch to when you're rallying with all cav after you use your max rally. Um, and I'm also going to take deployable troop size every single time because with my spare points, I'm going to come back through. I'm going to max out the deployable troop size uh, eventually. That way I don't have to flip between hero skills so much. Or I'm sorry, lord skills so much. So... Take this, prereqs all the way through, and now we're at the very end. And once you're at the very end, you're going to max out this cavalry line right here. So do you see infantry attack debuff and then infantry basic leverage attack? I'm going to take all 30 of those, go back through. I'm going to take this uh, infantry debuff and the cavalry attack as well. So I've got a lot of points left over, as you can see. So what I'm going to prioritize from this point now is the hero debuffs again, just like in defense. And I know I'm going to come back for that eventually. But right now, I'm prioritizing hero debuffs to try to win those face-offs. This is one when you're attacking, even if you don't have those hero skill uh, research trees done, it's not a bad idea to still max these ones out. Because when you're attacking, you've got Radiant, you got a lot more stats. You do have the opportunity to win a lot more face-offs when you're attacking, if you're attacking with Radiant, that is. So I'm going to go through, max these ones out. Now, after you've got the hero debuffs maxed out you're going to want to go through and you want you're sending only ponies right it's only ponies so i'm going to go in i'm going to max out my deployable troop size like i talked about as well but because you're sending only cav you're really worried about getting their archer stats down as far as you can that is the most important part so you're going to go back in and we're going to see here enemy de troop defense debuff see that that takes some prereqs though but we'll probably come back for it because we've got 130 points left over so right there, Archer Defense Debuff, I get an extra 25 if I uh, max that out. HP Debuff as well. But right now I'm maxing out the deployment sizes. So now I'm going to go all the way back to the end. See that? I'm at the end. So now let's go back through and make another pass through. I know that I want this HP Debuff down here, so I get the prereqs on that Attack Debuff. Max out the HP Debuff. I'm going to go and I'm going to max out the Archer HP Debuff as well. And I don't care about the other ones right now. Archer defense debuff is a big deal. Max that out. Go over here. I can max out the uh, the enemy troop defense defense debuff as well. So at this point now we got 41 points left over. Basically everything is less important. That's gonna take give you a little more cav attack. So I'm gonna take that. And so now what I like to do is I like to go and I like to max my siege debuff stats um, if with my leftover points because when I'm soloing. If I hit, they're mixed, anything else like that. A lot of times there will be siege, there will be siege there as well. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to max out my siege diva, uh, stats as well. I am going to take the five points on those two, the attack and the HP increase. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to take the five points on all the siege spots. Because you basically get the majority of them as prereqs anyways. So there's no reason not to go max them out. 
And then, as you can see here, I'm maxing out these other prereqs that only take five points, give me max stats out of it. And that's that. So I'm going to go through, take this infantry attack debuff, and then, again, you got one point left over that you can ditch pretty much wherever you want. So even if you're not an extremely high lord level, doesn't matter. Uh, you still want to prioritize these, these lord skills correctly and make sure that you are prioritizing them and getting those leverage debuffs, number one, and then setting up your lord skills for exactly what you're doing when you're defending or you're attacking. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Have a good one.